Hi and welcome back to the lab. Today here on the bench we have the ISO FTDX10 and uh, the FTDX10 came in because the external uh, monitor does not work. So we have a DVI uh, um, connector at uh, the back side of uh, our radio for an external monitor. When we now connect the external monitor to the DVI connector, so it doesn't work. So something is wrong and um, let's see what we can do. Okay, here is our radio and first uh, let's uh, test if everything what uh, we have been told is right. So, and you see uh, here our monitor is uh, switched on. So. Um, that is uh, definitely uh, fine. Hope uh, you can read it here. So that is our external uh, monitor display adjustment, and uh, of course we can switch it off, and uh, we can switch it on. So that is um, how you have uh, to handle it. And now we expect the external monitor to work. Well, one is issue is um, we have, as I already said, a DVI connector here on the radio. And, you know, uh, there are not so many um, DVI um, monitors out in the field. So I have just only one left here um, on my uh, spare work place. And, uh, well, there is now, um, you know, uh, the wire here uh, connected and uh, now let's see when we switch it over to uh, DVI to digital if it works. So all right what we can see here is that uh, it is uh, set to analog and now let's uh, switch it to digital so yeah, there you can read it and now let me uh, confirm this setting and you see that uh, the uh, port is not available, so um, our radio is uh, not sending anything here to the monitor. So therefore, uh, we have now proved that uh, we definitely have this problem here. Okay, so you see here we have our X Tended, uh, display port so the DVI and uh, so we need to have a look uh, inside and uh, see if there is something obvious and uh, then from there we go ahead okay so we um, are here at our um, external monitor connector so and uh, directly beneath um, this connector we have our HDMI ship and yes right I didn't mix it up it is mainly an HDMI um, ship but uh, you also can uh, configure it as a DVI um, chip so um, Yaezo uh, decided to uh, connect a DVI connector to it so that is uh, what we have and that is what we need to deal with. Anyways, um, here we uh, definitely uh, cannot uh, see any obvious, but what we can uh, check first is um, a little fuse which uh, is uh, connected. Um, I believe this here is the little fuse. We have to double check it and that is um, if you like uh, 5 volt to our DV, DVI connector. If that is broken then you know um, it wouldn't work. So that is the first what we can check here. Okay so let's uh, look into our schematic and uh, here so that is our AP952 and we see here the DVI connector right and uh, when we zoom in a little bit like uh, so so you can let me see uh, so you easily can uh, see 
that uh, we have here our DVI uh, positive 5 volt which runs here over our uh, fuse to pin 14 and uh, so let's check what's going on here with our fuse okay as we can see um, our radio is uh, switched on and um, now when uh, we go to our little fuse let me check because it is really tiny here on the board but let's see there and what we can see here 4.9 volt so that is if you like the input side and now let's go to the other side ah <laughs> okay so that looks like that it is burned out yeah for sure it's uh, not working the other side is fine but then here behind the fuse there is nothing and that means um, our fuse is definitely burned out okay so let's uh, test for continuity to make uh, sure that uh, everything we saw um, is right but you see it is that tiny um, that I really have here issues to see it with beer eyes and yes so there is no continuity it's fine if uh, I short it but when I try to get uh, continuity it is proved dead so that means uh, first of all we need uh, to swap out uh, this uh, fuse and uh, of course secondly um, from uh, time to time this ship here is dying and that would mean if um, we have replaced uh, the little fuse and we have still an issue then we can be sure that uh, our EP952 is uh, burnt uh, out as well so that would then um, to be swapped as well but first of all let's check what happens if uh, we replace the fuse okay so um, we are here um, directly at our little uh, fuse and uh, the fuse is this tiny guy here okay so that is uh, what we need uh, to take uh, out once again if you like um, we can uh, go for a final check down here to it okay so you can hear um, the continuity is working and uh, once again so no continuity so for sure okay that means we uh, definitely need uh, to take it out um, let me put some flux to it that is uh, always the most important uh, we ever have to do and uh, first as always we put some let it um, solder to it that is uh, very important okay very nice and now next step is to get it out okay so let's go down and grab it that's it okay as we all can see I've already um, replaced the new um, fuse partially so one side is already in and uh, that is because it is uh, definitely uh, fiddly here so we really have uh, to take care and uh, yeah 
so therefore um, we have one side uh, left and uh, yeah so we prepare everything here and okay let's see it is a little bit delicate here at uh, this area but I hope the best all right looks good looks good too many delicate uh, parts here very close uh, to our working uh, area that is um, definitely not nice okay yeah definitely looks good now um, let's uh, wait a moment until uh, the alcohol has evaporated and then we can go ahead okay now we are curious if it is now um, if it now has a continuity so let's test here from the anode of our diode down to this resistor here and our fuse is then in between yes very nice so that is uh, back working and now um, the question is is now um, the monitor the external monitor back working or do we really have um, additionally a problem with uh, yeah here our DVI ship we will see Okay, so I'm again here on my uh, spare um, workplace and uh, you see it is exactly the same configuration. Um, radio is uh, on and now let me uh, go up to the external monitor and look here. It is back working. So that uh, definitely was uh, our problem and uh, well, I believe many of you uh, might have um, only HDMI and if you use a DVI HDMI adapter and mm, if you have maybe the wrong one uh, you can easily kill this little fuse and then it uh, doesn't work anymore I mean the part is itself is not that much expensive but as you have seen it is quite a lot work to do and therefore really be careful okay now that we know that everything is back working tested fine so um, we put all back together and then the radio can go back all right radios back together and we are definitely at the end of our video hope you learned something thanks for watching catch you next time bye